Yeah. So I just quickly just put a new light switch in and everything else. Yeah. New lights putting in actually worked. You Aussies are I like that, aren't you? You do stuff well, yourself. Was, it's South not for more than Australia. Oh, I'm South Africa. <laughs> South Africa, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Australia's yeah, a regular. Yeah. Oh, is it you that done this? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> That's just being nasty. Well, you got it working, <laughs> didn't you? Oh, that can't. Uh, hello, welcome again to the Always the Spark. Today's job is a, it's a tricky little thing. It's a continuation. From a, I've been here before. What you've got, um, there's a block of flats there and the client's got, in his flat, he's got a garage at the back and there's a MICC pyro cable going from his flat to the garage but it's buried on the ground and um, if you were going to rewire it you'd have to find a wall to pin it to or then or bury it back on the ground so he, um, he wants me to try and repair the MICC but the problem is it's the old measurements it's in imperial measurements where nowadays is metric so I got some different pots to um, to try and make off the end because the old one was da damaged. That's the old pot there. That's the old pot. It's quite small and um, that's one of the cores that was there. That's where I've cut the cable. So you see the spirals in there. So I've got, um, I had different pots tried. They're too loose or too tight. This one here is a 3L 1.5 pot and it, that's only a two core but this is a three. This one I tried to get it on but it was too tight. So I went to an engine, a shop that said it sells taps up my way and he tapped it out to the next size. So I've come back now to try this and see if it will fit. Uh, but I need to put a test on the pyro before anyway because it could be down for all I know so even if this fits it could be just um, a waste of time so what I'm going to do check the pyro out first to see if it's all good and everything and once I can establish that I'll try and fit this pot and seal it and see if it works so you can come and have a watch and see if it works out see you later that's the offending cable there it was connected into there but um, it got damaged so, right, first things first, let's, um, I need to see that cupboard inside. Yes, correct. That's the other end. That's the other end of the cable there. It's joined um, to a, a 2.5. Okay, let me get my... The, 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 um, this cable here is your earth. So it's connected to the box. So this earth needs to be connected to the box to continue that circuit on. But it wasn't even connected. So... Um, if I did try and test the earth, I wouldn't have got anything anyway. <coughs> it's gonna go under that grass somewhere. And um, it's all on the ground. Where it runs, you can't really tell. But obviously it's coming up there. And you see where it's jointed. When they put the new fuse board in, they put a joint there to bring it up, but they didn't connect the earth. So this was an earth, and this is outside the protective zone. So that, um, that would have, that's a dangerous situation. Yes, the, the pyro was originally connected to this switch, but somebody was doing something in here and um, must have bumped into it and broke it. I put that compound around it to prevent damp from seeping down. That's what you usually do when you um, cut pyro and leave in it, but usually you only leave it overnight. This has been left for a couple of weeks. So what I want to do now is just check to see how good these cables are to see if they're what sort of re, what sort of insulation resistance reading I get. This type of cable pyro is supposed to last forever, like you know, if, it's, if it's installed properly and done right, it lasts a very long time. And now nothing else is connected it, so I can put it through 500 down it, no problem. Right, see that's on the one mega ohm, so that's no good. Earth. Right, that's yeah, still on the one meg on this. See what we get. Phase to neutral to earth. See what we get. That's over one meg on. So 
that should be but it's just it's giving me a bad um reading to earth both phase and neutral so um that could be damp that could be damp that's in the cable so the the thing i the only thing i could do is um strip it a bit further down and see if i still have see if i still get that if i do then it's not worth connecting it um my um strippers don't fit it so i've got to go old, old school on it and i haven't got usually they used to have this long rod you put a slot in it strip it a little bit um put your thing around it and just right i haven't got one of those when you're doing a load of pyro if in back in the day you'd make yourself up one of them tools so i've got to do it old style with um side cutters some of the old sparkies around they're really some people just really good at pyro you know they some people love it it's back in the day you've got people who love pyro or they love conjure you know <laughs> ah. in my old days. now nowadays they use fp200 they probably still do use i heard that they still use pyro in government buildings or something like that. i don't know how true that is Someone told me that once. What I have to do is old. Oh, I've got to use this. This is tricky because you have to um, judge the gauge of, at which your arm um, can't go too deep because you don't want to damage the. And if you don't go deep enough, you know, some people are really good at this. They love it. Back in the day. I don't know about nowadays. I'm sure, I'm sure there's some good old pros out there looking at that and thinking, <laughs> thinking, oh boy, what's he making such a big deal out? But I haven't done pyro. I haven't done pyro for um, oh, years, years. I'm, well, it's not nice and neat, but I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna test it again to see if that's the only difference. See, see slightly better. See that? Slight, that's better. So that that was the damp that was doing that. Let's see. Yep, that's great. It was below one leg on the last time. So let's see what see what's what I get now. Yeah, that's made it better. Alright, nice one you know, What? You haven't forgotten. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a little further down. Um because uh for one, it didn't ream off nicely. I need I need to get a nice end to put the pot on if it's gonna work. So, um, but then again, I've got to be careful so I don't go through the core. I'm sure that, that's what I was saying to you, mate, that the, these cables are susceptible to damp. If damp gets in, it messes up the cable. So you, that's why you need to make sure there. Whenever you leave pyro, you have to put something on it like that. Um, and plus you don't leave it for too long like that. So it's just over the levels. It's just it's, it's no, it's well over the levels now because the minimum is one mega ohm, and that was two point something or three point or four point something. So it's um, getting better. You just find the right cable. You, you you start it, and that edge there just cuts it, and it just strips it really nice. And then at the end, what you do is put your pliers round there like that, and just turn it round, turn it round. That stops it, and it just makes a nice cut, ready for your pot. But when you're doing it like this, it's not the best. This is old school. Yeah. One part of the job done. But will the pot, the pot that I've tapped out, will it fit? That's the, that's the problem. I'll put another test on that. That's come off nicely now, the best I can get it here. It's come off nicely. Oh. 
Yeah, see, it's even better. See that? It's gone up. See, got it even better. Seems that I stripped it down there. Yep, yeah, that's all good. Good news, man. Yeah? Fine. Right. So now let's see. This is the part that, that's going to separate the men from the boys. Will this fit? What seals it from the bottom? Bottom where? So it's the bottom of the... Oh, no, 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 because look, I'm going to show you. This is going to screw in, yeah? So far, there's really fascinating. No yeah, one's actually doing right. stuff you anymore. You see this, yeah? Yeah. Let me just show you. Oh, it screws into the copper. Yeah, let me just show you. Oh, my show you. See down there? You see the cables coming through? Yeah, there's the um, yeah? MICC. Yeah. So I screw it till it's level, right? Not protruding, just level. And then you push the compound in and you push it from one side so you push all the air out and that seals it. Yep. But the only, the only problem we might have, which I don't think it will be a problem if we can get it sealed, is that this is, three, this is a pot for three core. And the, the, um, the, what you call it, that I've got the seals that I've got are, three, are for three core. So it should still be okay. Yeah, that, that, you put, once you can hear that, that noise, that means it's nice and tight. So, boy, if this works, this will be beautiful. Because it just dawned on me, I thought, let's go up there and get a tap and tap it out. And lucky enough, the guy in the shop, he knew all about tapping and what tap to do. So he... <laughs> the tap he usually told me, I can't remember though, so... Well, someone mentioned your name. Yeah, well, the thing is, I'm an old geezer, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old geezer. I'm, I'm not the greatest pyro geezer, man. I'm telling you, there's people out there that, that know about pyro and do pyro. I've, meet, I've known some of them really do a good job with pyro. I'm, you know what? I'm not going to get any more. I'm just going to leave it. So, you got the third, you see, it's a three core, it's a three thing, but, so, but anyway, once I put the thing in and crimp it, then the thing should, the seal should go up there and seal that leg anyway, yeah? So, from what I, from my memory, <laughs> that's what we used to do, put the pot on first to make sure you got the separation, yeah? So now then you pull this up a little bit, yeah? Right, and then, you get your your compound. You get your compound. This is from what I'm, my memory. You push it in from one side, so you're pushing all the air out. But because this is so hard, it's not. It's, so you might push it. Sean, I hope this works out for you, mate. Get you out of trouble, I pray. I'm pray. But the test is encouraging. The pot went on nice and tight, so that's encouraging. So now all we have to do, gas as they say. <laughs> well, that's perfect because it's going to seal the third hole as well. Yeah, see all the compound come through the third hole, yeah? That's right, because so it's sealed. Beautiful. So now. 
now that we've got it in let's put a quick test on it and see what happens so right four points on it mega ohm so that's allowable beautiful 6.2 mega ohm that's allowable phase to neutral now uh, beautiful sean i think we may we may be um because you've connected the earth down down the bottom no 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 i'm not gonna that that's one of the earth that that well that's the earth from the box to the yeah that's the that's testing the pyro so that means so the pyro is earth down there, yeah is so the pyro so now it's connected into a metal box, yeah? Yeah. So the... um can the metal box, which then competes the so well. Yes. So, then, so, then so the cable they took from the fuse board should be connected to that metal box, yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, that's, I'm so pleased, man. Just get this in. I brought a box to make it off into. And then you can run your cable from that box up. Into our swatch. And so the phase this is on, it's only for lights, it's not for plugs, right? Uh, seems like it's only for the lights. This is the only garage that's got, um... Electric in it? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> well, I, there was actually a false wall. So when we had our first child three years ago, I wanted to put a tumble dry in. Yeah. And randomly I found in that, in that cupboard that there was a false wall at the back. Another foot behind it. Okay. With rubble and a whole lot of stuff. And then all I found was a whole lot of cables. I found the six power cables in there. Then figured out what they were. And this is, so I, well I've said this place for 14 years, and I got there seven years ago. Yeah. And there was about two inches of dirt in this garage, it was completely ruined. <laughs> the lights weren't working, so I just quickly just put a new light switch in and everything else, yeah. new light switching, and it actually worked. You Aussies are like that, aren't you? You do stuff well, yourself. Was, it's South not Africa. formal Australia. Oh, I'm South Africa. <laughs> South Africa, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Australia's yeah, regular. Yeah. So what I need to do now is go down there and put one of them down to earth to find out which one is my live, which one is my neutral. Yeah? So, is the door open? Yeah. All right, we can come down. So what I've done, I've put one, I don't know whether it's new, li live or neutral, phase or neutral. I've put it down to earth. So when I go down here, whichever one gives me a read into earth, that's what that will be. So then I'll just put a bit of, so I just put a bit of sleeving on that to mark it as either, well, if it's phase, then I put sleeving on it. If it's neutral, I just leave it. I suppose you should put blue on it, I suppose, to be correct. So, so I've got one one cable on the body of the um, the pyro, yeah, the MICC. So, uh, I'm going to put some continuity and see what I get. So, put that on there. Okay, leave it like that. So that's zero. So I don't think it was that one actually, or else it, would, it didn't move. So it's probably this one. Right, I'll see. Yep, straight away. So, 0.79. So that's my, the one up there is a neutral. The other one's the face, right? So the one that I put down to earth down the bottom was the neutral. See if this goes over this. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? This is a pyro box. What I need here, yeah, I need just to clamp hard onto the pyro so it picks up the earth, yeah? It picks up the earth and then you pick it up with a screw from the back of the box. But I'm thinking if I, that um, FP200 won't fit. 
it might prevent it from, from, pulling, from screwing up tight. So what I'm going to do, because I was going to take them both out there, but if I have one this side, one that side, the um, FP200 is slightly bigger, so it might not allow me to screw down really tight. And to get an earth, you need to be tight. So what I'm going to do is bring this in by its own and the FP200 out but on its own, that end. So hopefully that will work better. Right, so that's nice and tight. So we should, in theory, pick up a good earth, yeah? Right, okay, so. Right, so what I'm gonna do, gonna put that off the door. Oh, is it you that done this? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> That's just been nasty. Well, you got it working, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> oh, they come. from fibre, so that tells you how old they are. My neutral. Make sure that that's beautiful. Hopefully, that's going to sit in really nicely. So these two things are good. Really. So, okay. Better if they could make it a, a little bit less bulky, that would be good. Would be. Really, you need a stuffing gland I'll get on them. for the top there. I'll just connect it now, get it working. I need to rewire the whole thing. Oh, you're going to do it yourself? Yeah, okay, but, cool. It's chunky in there, I need to put chunky up and all the rest of that. Okay, that's all good. Um, <coughs> what's it called? Sorry? What's that gland? Like a stuffing gland. I'll give you one. I think I've got one on the van. I don't, I'm, it's raining now, I don't have to go all the way down. <laughs> all this needs fixed. That needs to be made up properly. I'm yes, just, uh, that needs to be redone. Yeah, I'm I just setting it up so that yeah, we see that it cool. works, yeah? So that's the switch line. So hopefully we um, connect. That's the 
we connect it down there, everything comes on. Right, yeah. So I've connected the earth to the back of the box because the pyro comes into the box and the gland, so it's picking up the earth. So I've picked it up from there. It's come up into the earth under here. The earth's connected there. So now I'm going to reconnect the circuit and see what happens. Well, it hasn't tripped. That's good. <laughs> The ZS what one that I'm getting. So um uh, what's happened is down there it's an old split board. And the R when I saw the RCD, I thought it looked funny, I thought it done the circuits, but it doesn't. I think you need to the um, fuse for that circuit needs to be taken out and put on this side. And um, put on this side. Um, and then you need a link from the RCD to that fuse because what it is they've made that side the RCD side redundant because then you could have you could have just put, put a 15 way fuse board would fit in there nicely oh, nice. with RCDOs everything would protected been cheap, been cheaper, yeah it would have been much better yeah definitely but um, yeah it's unfortunate some people just don't you up on these things.